Justin Fields had two rough outings at a press conference today where he said he was playing too robotic, needs to get back to playing like himself, and also had some blunt words about Chicago's coaching. Take a listen. I felt like, you know, I wasn't necessarily playing my game. Uh, felt like I was kind of robotic and, you know, not just, not, not, not playing like myself. So, um, you know, um, my goal this week is just to, you know, say effort and just go out there and, you know, play football how I know how to play football. What do you think was causing you to think so much, maybe think too much? Um, you know, could be, uh, you know, uh, coaching, um, I think. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it makes it, you know, uh, they're doing their job when they're giving me, you know, what to look at and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I, you know, can't be thinking about that when the game comes. I prepare myself throughout the week, and then when the game comes, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's time to play free at that point. So, um, you know, just thinking less and, you know, playing more. Okay, he did clarify these statements saying uh, he's not blaming anything on the coaches. If you look at the shorter tweet, Field said his comments were, quote, taken out of context. Eh, not necessarily. We just played the clip. And the buck stops with him. I need to play better. Point blank. That's it. <clears throat> Can I – go ahead, Wilds. I'm sorry. No, you take it. The, take it away. Well, when, I think when he says taken out of context on Twitter, if people were just writing when Justin Fields asked, you know, what's leading to his play – Quote coaching. Oh, okay. And so I, so I think the, the full, I only saw quote, the full yeah, clip the full on clip is obviously not out of context. But if it's just, and you saw, I don't think he was trying to throw anyone under the bus, even if he was actually almost by definition throwing people under the it bus. It felt like he was being honest. It felt like he was being honest about what he thinks he's, he's dealing with. truth. So, telling. so, yeah. and listen, Fields has looked terrible. There's no denying it, and he hasn't looked at all like Justin Fields. They haven't called quarterback driven runs. They're not he's not throwing the ball deep and he's taking an extra second on almost everything. Now, as you guys know, one of my hobbies is listening to local sports talk radio around Gosh. the country. The speculation as of this morning in Chicago uh, is that what's happening is Luke Getzies, the offensive coordinator, is calling in the play and then saying giving advice. So calling in the play and then like, oh, and watch out for the safety. He likes, you know, I don't know what they would say. But watch out for the safety or watch out for this. And that's what he's alluding to. Does A, does that ever happen? Yes. Okay. I can't uh, stand it. I uh, can't stand it. Okay, so, look, so does, that, does that look like it's what's happening? Yeah, and so explain. A couple things. Like, I, 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 I understand what Justin Fields is saying. Uh, because if that is what hap- it's what's happening there in Chicago, I've experienced that. And North Turner, I love him. Great offensive coordinator for, for years in this league. But when Teddy Bridgewater got drafted by the Minnesota Vikings, it happened every single play. Mm-hmm. He was telling them what to look out for, who to throw, who he possibly can have on this play. And it was the worst. Because naturally, what you start to do as a quarterback is you don't think for yourself. It's like being a parent and trying to tell your kid to watch out for every little mishap. They don't then make their own mistakes because they're making the mistakes that you want them to make. And thus, they're going to make that mistake. It's going to frustrate you and them. And then when you finally decide, let me let them do what they do, they're going to make their own mistake. And it's going to prolong the problem. That's what we're seeing with Justin Fields. Now, I will also say this. I've been watching the tape. And the coaching tape, and it ain't just all on the coaching. Yeah. I don't care what they're telling you to do. I've never seen a great player or a player that believes that they are great or they have a special and unique skill set become as robotic as I've seen Justin Fields. There has to be something that clicks within him that says, skip what you're saying in my ear, I got to go ball. Because it's, it's, it's allowing me or it's prohibiting me from being special. Even last year. When he didn't have as much experience, we didn't look. He didn't look like this. No. We weren't saying these He's types of backwards. things. He's going in reverse, and that's problematic. And if I'm Justin Fields, what he said at the end of that presser, I gotta just say, skip it and go ball. Mm-hmm. If that means you gotta rely on those legs, obviously it benefits you. Do that, but you can't just say that the coaches aren't helping it, and when you want to, because at at times on that film several occasions he's not getting all the way through his progressions and he's missing wide open guys and he's missing the guys that are coming over wide openly hot or or when you look at pre-snap 
You can assess that before you even get right, to the line right. of scrimmage, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, he's clearly taking way too long to get rid of the ball. I mean, he's, he's got 10 sacks. A lot of those are on him, all right, because he's waiting too long. And it's odd. This is his second year with the head coach and the OC. And so you'd think he'd be more comfortable. Look, I don't think he I, – I, he seems like a good kid. I don't think he meant – to throw the coaches overboard or even make an excuse. It certainly comes off like that. But, you know, a lot of times you're young in the league and you don't even – I've seen it happen with coaches who are first-time head coaches. You don't know how the media is going to take your comments and whether it's twist them or just take them out of context or just take a small part of what you said and make it a big deal. So I think that's what happened here. But for future advice, what he needs to do is if you got a problem with the coaches, even doing what you said, like if they're whispering in his ear or something, you got to deal with the coaches on that. You, you don't put it out in the media. And so now you got – do you have players in that locker room saying, dude is not getting it done, and now he's blaming but, the coaches? I mean, it's – I don't know what this – And what is to. true is that play he threw that pick on – they were in the exact same play three straight times. And you know what I mean? So there is some coaching issues there. And it's a tough spot. I mean, it's up against what some people are calling the new no steel curtain. No, no. What? I, I don't know. They're 12 and a half I'm, point favorites, and you guys said they can't score points. So they must be good at something. Yeah, you, you guys said they can't score points. So and now I, you're taking it. No, I, I said that jokingly. Well, you, the other some day. people now are saying it, the new steel curtain. curtain. Okay.